Hello everybody. So in today's lesson, we're going to be covering lesson 2.5 and now we're going to work our way up to the place value to thousands. So how do you know the values of the digits and the numbers this is our basic um, essential question that we should be able to answer by the end of our lesson. So today we're going to start on page 73 of the second grade gold math textbook. So listen to the little number story and then complete the work on the on this page. If you um, after the reading after I read the question, go ahead and pause the video and check your answer afterwards. All right, so here's here it is. Listen carefully. There are 245 sheets of color paper in the closet. 200 45 sheets of color paper in the closet. There are 458 sheets of plain paper by the table. Okay, write each number and draw a quick picture to show those numbers. Again, 245 sheets of color paper, 458 sheets of plain paper. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and complete that work. All right, so we said 245 sheets of color paper. We said 458 sheets of plain paper. So what does that look like if we're using just hundreds, tens, and ones? Well. There would be two hundreds, there would be four tens, and there would be five ones. In 458, there would be four hundreds, five tens, and eight ones. So check your quick drawing. Is this what you drew? Two hundreds, four tens, five ones. For the plain paper, four hundred blocks, five tens, eight ones. Okay, how'd you do? All right, now how about this? Let's look at this question here. Is you don't necessarily need to write it down. I just want you to think about it. Describe how five tens is different from five hundreds. Five tens from five hundreds. Hmm. Well, how would you write five tens? You said fifty, right? Five tens is fifty. How would you write five hundreds? Five hundreds is five hundred, right? Well, they're not the same, right? Fifty is much smaller than five hundred. Okay. Here the five is in the hundreds place. Here it's in the tens place. This number, fifty, doesn't have any hundreds. Okay. So let's look at page 74. All right, so we've been talking about this in the last couple of lessons. And so the place of a digit in a number tells its value. So for instance, 327. The 3 in 327 has a value of 300 or 300. The 2 in 327 has a value of 2 tens or 20. The 7 in 327 has a value of seven ones or seven. 327. 327. So in a thousand, there are ten hundreds. Okay, and we can we can count that here. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, a thousand. And a thousand you can represent with a cube. Okay. 
So, and we write a thousand, one thousand, or one in the thousands place, comma, zero hundreds, zero tens, zero ones. Because we traded the ten hundreds for a thousand. And so the one is in the thousands place and has a value of 1,000. All right, so now we're going to practice saying these numbers and identifying the place value of the number, the red digit, okay? So say this number, and is it two ones, two tens, or two hundreds when you say that? All right, so 702. Well, we can represent this by just going ahead and put an H above the seven, right? That's hundreds. A T above the zero for tens. And an O for ones above the two. 702. All right, well, it's not, the two's not in the hundreds place. It's not in the tens place. It's in the ones place. So if there's two in the ones place, that means you have two ones. All right, 459. So again, I have four in the hundreds place. I have five in the tens place. And I have nine in the ones place. So how much is the red digit, which is in the tens place? Five tens is 50. Now that's what we say when we say this number, right? 450. Nine. 362. The three is in the hundreds place, the six is in the tens place, and the two is in the ones place. So the red digit is in the hundreds place, and we say 300. So the three has a value of three hundreds. All right, let's look at page 75. Continue with identifying the value of the place identified or indicated 549 five in the hundreds place four is in the tens place nine is in the ones place 549 607 six is in the hundreds place zero is in the tens place and seven is in the ones place. So if seven is in the ones place, seven ones is seven ones. 1,000. Okay, well, we're gonna use TH for the thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. Right, so how much is the red one? It's in the thousands place, so one thousand. Nine hundred fourteen. Hundreds, tens, ones. The red digit is in the hundreds place, so nine hundred. Three hundred eighty. Three hundreds, eight tens, zero ones. Eight tens is eighty. Right, we say 380. 692, 6 is in the hundreds place, 9 is in the tens place, 2 is in the ones place. 692. So the red digit is in the hundreds place, 600s. All right, let's see this. Let's write the number that matches the clues. The value of my hundreds digit is 300. I'm going to do this. Hundreds, pen died, excuse me. Hundreds, tens, ones. I just want to go ahead and write in the clues as we go. So it says my hundreds digit is 300. So what number represents 300s? The three, right? So three hundreds is three hundred. My tens digit is zero. So what would go here? Zero. Zero tens is worth a zero. And the value of my ones digit is an even number 
greater than 7. Well, I can only have a single digit number, so it's got to be 8 or 9. Now, you will recall that we talked about even numbers have, everything has a pair, right? So if we do this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, everything has a pair, right? So 8 is the even number greater than 7. So we have 308. Okay, again, we have 0 in the tens place. Okay. If we were doing 9, we would notice that we have 1 that doesn't have a pair. Okay, So 9 is odd. 8 even. Okay. And it can't be 10 because we can only put single digits in each place value. We can only go from 0 to 9. And so the only two di single digit numbers greater than 7 are 8 and 9. Okay. And 8 is the even number. So 308. All right, let's look at page 76. Ty is making a Venn diagram. Where in the diagram should he write the other numbers? Okay, so a Venn diagram is used to compare and contrast things. The numbers that go, the things that go in the middle here where the circles overlap, this part here, are things in common. In other words, it meets both of the criteria at the top. Okay, so whatever the labels are, if both of them are met, we would put it in the middle. This side outside is only this. So numbers with a five in the tens place that only have a five in the tens place and not a two in the hundreds place would go here. So 152 doesn't go in the middle because there's not a two in the hundreds place. There is a five in the tens place, but not a two in the hundreds place. All right, so numbers with two in the hundreds place and if it has a number with a 5 in the tens place, it would go in the middle. If I have a number that's a 2 in the hundreds place, but doesn't have a 5 in the tens place, it would go here. All right, so let's go ahead and identify numbers with 2 in the hundreds place. That seems like the easiest one, right? So let's, um, I'm just going to put little stars next to the numbers with 2 in the hundreds place. All right, that's 215. That has a 2 in the hundreds place. 400, no. 257, that has a 2 in the hundreds place. 352, no. 205, that has a 2 in the hundreds place. And 250 has a 2 in the hundreds place. All right, so now, so we know none of these other numbers would go on the outside. It's not possible. They don't have a 2 in the hundreds place. Now, are there any numbers that have a 2? in the hundreds place and a five in the tens place. Okay, so remember, hundreds, tens, ones. So we're looking for numbers that have a two and a five in the hundreds and tens place, because those are gonna go in the middle. Two, one, no. So we're again, we're looking for 250, something that's 250. 200, there, it's 257, that would go in the middle. Okay. 350, no. 205, no, there's not a 5 in the tens place. 250, yeah, that's got a 5 in the tens place. And it has a 2 in the hundreds place. Okay, you see why they are put here? Because it has a 2 in the hundreds place and a 5 in the tens place. All right, so now that means these other 200s only have the 2 in the hundreds place. They don't have a 5 in the tens place. So 215. 205. All right, what about these other numbers we have? We still have 454, 352. Well, they don't go here. They can't go in the middle because they don't start with 200. Do they have a 5 in the tens place? 454, yeah. 352, yes. Okay. And now I just want to make sure I have all the numbers accounted for. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we've written all the numbers. All right, describe where 752 should be written in the diagram. 752. Well, well it's not going to be in the hundreds place, right? Because there's seven hundreds, not two hundreds. So that means it can't go in the middle either because there's not a two in the hundreds place. So that only leaves us one spot. Could it go in the side with numbers with a five in the tens place? Yeah, there's five tens. So it will go on the side labeled numbers with a five in the tens place. Seven hundred fifty two has five tens or a value of 50, okay, right? When we say 752, we say 50, which is 5 tenths. All right, 13, fill in the bubble next to all the numbers that have as a digit four in the tens place. Hundreds, tens, ones. A four in the tens place. So anything that has a four in the middle, in this case, because there's three numbers. Okay, 764, no, 149, yeah, that's got a 4 in the tens place, 437, well, there is a 4, it's not in the tens place, 342, there are 4 tens, okay, all right, so I want you to continue to practice writing three-digit numbers. Um, and practice having somebody give you problems such as like this, a number with two hundreds and a number with a nine in the ones place and come up with a two digit number, a three digit number that would meet that criteria. Okay. So little, little clue puzzles like that. All right. So that's it for lesson 2.5. And so until our next lesson, I will see you soon.